Hello world. Um, so, let me turn down that. <laughs> um, I have struggled a lot lately. Life isn't easy. Um, it's, it's never gonna be easy. That's just not life. Um, but we'll go through a lot of trials in our life, and it gets hard a lot, <laughs> like a lot. Um, but don't give up. Um, I deal with a knee, I just had knee surgery, and my journey. Through this knee surgery has been so much like I literally have had a knee surgery and was put on all my sports and everything but that wasn't at first that's what would kill me um was my knee um was that I wasn't being able to do jujitsu which was my it is not just was but is my most favorite sport that I've ever done. I do cross country and jujitsu. Um I love whenever I'm not doing jujitsu, I was running or working out. Um I was always doing something to better my body, you know. Always wanted those rock hard solid abs, you know, you would always see like people have, you know, like not people but you would just see these workout people, you know, like I ain't gonna say names, but, you know, you just see these people, and they would have these great abs, and you would be like, wow, I wish I had those abs, you know, um, but my knee, um, it, um, took a toll on me, I went through a time when, um, I literally thought it was the end of everything, because, I just, I felt like no one understood me. I felt like, you know, I knew people were going through worse things, but I just was lonely, you know? Thankfully, I had my boyfriend <laughs> to comfort me, but I struggled a lot with my image because when, or, you know, because when I would get stressed about my family or get stressed just about things in general, I would go straight to my first thing, you know. Of course, I would go to God about it, but I would go to working out. That's what I would do because working out was my way to cope with my anxiety or if I was depressed, you know, whatever it was, I could cope with my life that way. Um, and... To not have working out, to been doing working, to been working out like every day of my, when I mean every day of my life, I mean going to jujitsu four days a week, sometimes on a Saturday, open mats on Fridays or Sundays, you know, that's what I'm talking about. And, you know, running five miles, six miles, running three miles, you know, days, you know, day after day or day one day and another but when I wasn't running I was lifting weights or you know I was doing something you know and I, I never realized how much I actually got a physical activity which I love physical activity but I was not fueling my body and when you don't fuel your body with the right kinds of foods or um when you don't eat enough carbs it will take a toll on you you know because I didn't drink milk because like I can eat cheese all day, but, like, milk in general is just, like, I don't know. <laughs> but sometimes it would make me sick, you know? Um, but, so, I struggled really hard. Um, you know, I was stressed a lot before about my eating because I didn't want to eat bread, but I would eat so much cheese and so much grapes and so much apples which was amazing or plantains which are some which are some amazing chips they're healthy they're healthy which they are healthy but they are a version they are a banana a green banana that's been cut up and like cooked you know and like dehydrated 
they're really good they're like they sort of taste like potato chips if um yeah they sort of taste like potato chips but like i was saying um i struggled with getting so depressed that you know because i went through a time when something happened between me and my family and i thought because that one person was mad at me that what was the point in living even though i knew i had people that loved me but i was in such a bad time in my life you know but at the same time i was on medication I was on some medication that was like, mm -mm, y'all, this medication made me crazy and think some crazy thoughts. Because I never thought like that before, you know? I'm just I'm not that kind of person, you know? I can go through so much, but I, I don't think about that stuff, you know? Um, So, I took myself off the medication and my doctor was like, hey, yeah, like, you done the right thing. And I was like, great. So, that was an amazing um, and then after I took myself off the medication, y'all, I've been a hundred percent better. Like, I mean, I still get anxiety here and there, but it's nothing like it was before. Um, and, um, I was just going to say that I dislocating my kneecap, okay? Dislocating my knee, not the knee, but the kneecap, playing football with guys at JROTC, okay? It's like a military pre-military but like before you go to military that you do in high school y'all literally let me just tell you i thought i would have done it doing run which i'm glad i was not running when it happened because y'all that would have been bad but i did it while i was playing football with guys and i should have known because like my my instructor or my my sergeant my um first sergeant he taught my drill sergeant whatever you want to call it he taught us all to play, you know, football, but all the other girls went and sat down. But I'm, I'm, I'm not scared to play with guys, okay? You know, I wasn't scared to play with guys. You know, I always played with guys. And, you know, I thought that nothing could ever happen to me because I would continue just things happening. And I could continue, like, doing things and nothing happened to me. And I thought my body was unbreakable. Never get your head high. Because I thought my body was unbreakable and look where it got me <laughs> but yeah so i was the only girl playing and apparently they said i caught the football playing two-hand tag okay we were just two-hand tag two-hand tag football okay and this guy literally they said i ran into the guy me and the guy ran into each other he hit my um left knee and then when he it, hit, it was my left, left knee that dislocated it was my right knee because I fell on my right side, and when I fell, the knee, I knew something didn't feel right, and I was holding my leg, and I, as I was falling, I knew something didn't feel right, and I went on the ground, and I was like, <sighs> like, y'all, whenever I, oh my gosh, I will upload a photo in, um, the description of, or for this video, I will upload a picture of my knee dislocated, literally, y'all, it looks so disgusting, like, my boyfriend rushed to the emergency room. Um, y'all, I'm never a cuss, but y'all, that day was just, it was not a day I was proud of at all. Y'all, I was in so much pain. I thought I was going to die. I literally thought I was, I was like, am I ever going to get all this pain? Like, I never thought, but the first, it wasn't the pain that I thought of. It was just being out of jujitsu. I was like, the, the minimum of time I'd be out of jujitsu, you know, because I'm used to going four days a week and more, like. When that gym is open, I'm usually there, okay? And I've never went this long. In two years, I've never went this long without training. And it's killing me, you know, but if you know anything about your sports, whenever or something that you really like, like, whenever it gets pulled from you, it's like, when it gets pulled from you for just a, just a tad, you're like, But I just counted to come to y'all today and tell y'all that I literally dislocated my knee. And I literally thought my world was over. I thought life, you know, but if it wasn't for my boyfriend and my best friend, literally, I don't think I would have been able to get through. I would have, I would have been able to get through it, but I wouldn't have been able to 
I probably would have been going insane. Like, they probably would have had to put me in a back in the hospital for me mental because I didn't have nothing, you know, to do because I'm used to going and going, going, going. Like, I'm, I'm on the go, like, 24-7. Like, I am used to that. But, you know, that's just me. But I was just going to tell y'all that whenever things happen in your life, you think it's the end. And you, you sometimes we want to question God and be like, hey, why did this happen to me in my life? Okay, why did I dislocate my knee? Like, you know, God, why did this happen? Why, why did you let this happen? God didn't let you have this happen to you. Okay, I mean, God did not make this happen to you he let it happen because maybe he was letting you learn a lesson okay and it took me a while to learn but y'all I was going 90 to nothing okay and I didn't realize it okay you know and I prayed to God and I was like God I need you to do something to slow me down because I'm not going to slow down on my own and that's what God done for me God is a miracle worker and as as hard as it might seem for us at times you know, we have to trust in him, that he has a plan, and his plan is not always going to be what we want, okay? I'm telling you, it's not always going to be what we want, okay? Or, say we want, I prayed for a long time, you know, for different things, and in God's time it happened, okay? Um, but like I want, I just wanted to come to you with a short little thing today and tell you that, I know I haven't uploaded a lot of, a lot of videos on my YouTube channel lately, um, I just want to come to you and tell you that I dislocated my kneecap and I had surgery the 29th of December, 2022. Um, y'all, the day after surgery is the worst, okay? When you're under anesthesia, you say some stuff. I don't know about y'all, but me, I say some crazy stuff. All in all, I say some crazy stuff while I was under anesthesia. And I'm like, my boyfriend learned so much about me that I'm like, some things I didn't want him to know. Not yet. But, besides all this, I love y'all. God loves y'all so much. My shirt says, catch up with Jesus. Psalms 37, 4. And on the bottom it says, blessed from my head to my toes. Curso, curso. Um, so, God's so amazing. I love y'all. My hair looks like probably crap right now because y'all I got this this stuck in my hair and I had to like yank it out of my hair yeah not fun at all but I love y'all more videos to come have an amazing night dislocating a kneecap not fun bye